you know, Maya, the bride to be is actually supposed to be in the thick of things, not skulking off alone. That's where you're wrong. The bride to be gets to do whatever the hell she wants, especially when she's paid for all this. True. Prince Charming still not contributed then. Ah. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. <sighs> you nervous? Huh? Yeah, I mean, that's normal though, right? Depends. Nervous because you'll be standing in front of a group of people or judging your dress, snickering to each other about how you've got the cheek to wear white, or nervous because you think you might be making a mistake. How many times? Maya, I just... You're just nothing. And we have to do this every time, even on my wedding day. I love him and he loves me and that's all there is to it. And as my best friend and maid of honor, I might add, you don't have to like him, at least respect my choices. You're right, I'm sorry. I don't judge you every weekend when you hook up with the wrong end after wrong end. <sighs> That's true. You always let me sink in the well of my bad choices, of which there are many. Saying that, I better go and see if my wrong end for this weekend has arrived. <laughs> What's this one's name? <laughs> Do you know what? I actually can't remember. <gasps> <laughs> I'm happy for you. If you're happy, then so am I. Thanks. I could be pregnant before the year's out. Oh, I mean, ever since I've met you, that's all you've talked about, being pregnant, having kids. And that's when we were 13. Yeah, that's all I've ever wanted. I can't wait to be a mom. But you've got a killer body. You're in a great job. Are you that desperate for no money and saggy boobs? <laughs> there's no better job than being a mom. Mm, there's better paid ones. <laughs> anyway, I'll have your kids, won't I? They're the best kind, ones you can give back. I could be the cool Aunt Beth, teach them to smoke, take them drinking, introduce them to boys or girls, and you could be the miserable mummy Maya. You know what? Go find your boy toy and leave me the hell alone. And don't drink too much. Last thing I need is for you to look like shit in my wedding photos. And no love bites either. Bye. You coming back in a what? Yeah, just a minute. It's her wedding, and she's out there talking to grass. She didn't even got a drink. Dude, I'm sure I'll say with a drink. Water, hardly a fucking drink, is it? <laughs> oh, I never understand her, but luckily she's hot, so. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh. Nothing really. Me and the boys were just talking about that trip to Benidorm we took a few years back. Absolute carnage, right, lads? <laughs> Maya. Don't drink too much. Not even Maya, Jen. Just crack on the whip. Oh, as long as it's the pussy whip she's cracking, I don't mind. 
Anyway, Benidorm, what a fucking holiday that was, eh? Talk about luck of your senoritas. <laughs> Steady on, Jack. <gasps> Just gonna reach over there. Pack it in, Craig, you're tired. She ain't gonna hear from over there, is she? Anyway, it's not you should be worried. It's my wedding. Last thing I need is my hearing about Benidorm. What happens in Benidorm stays in Benidorm. Exactly. So if you've got too much anyway, you haven't had most every night. And I'm sure we had to carry him home a few times, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's so ridiculous. Like, what the hell? Oh, honestly, it's just so ridiculous. I was just like, honestly. <sighs> what are you girls talking about? Nothing, just chit chat. <laughs> we'll make something interesting up and do it quickly. I'm getting really fed up of having to talk to people that were basically only invited because it would be an offense not to. Oh, well, well, in that case, we were talking about how beautiful this place is. Mm, beautiful. If I was ever to get married, which I won't, then this would be the kind of place I'd want to get married at. No, but in all seriousness, Em, this place is bloody gorgeous. I don't even want to ask how much you and Jack paid for this, but it's definitely worth every penny. Becky? Becky? Is everything okay? Yeah, all good. Just gonna go to the loo. What is going on with her? I don't know. She's been like this all day. She barely said a word the entire car ride down here. Couldn't get away quick enough, could she? Probably going to clog the fucking toilet now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I knew you'd bring the elegance that this place is obviously so lacking. Mm -hmm. I bring the standing of any place, you know that. Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, though, it really is beautiful. No wonder the waiting list was so long. Yeah, babes, you're lucky you got a cancellation. Mm. Your wedding photos are going to look gorgeous outside of this mansion. Thanks, girls. But, you know, it's the Christmas aspect that excites me. All the oh, trees out... Yeah, it's fine. It's nothing. Oh, it doesn't look like nothing. Fuck. It's, what did you do? It's fine. I burnt it yesterday when I was cooking. I don't remember seeing it there earlier. Do you go around examining people's fingers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it just looks really bad, that's all. I was getting worried about you. I'm sorry. It's just the wedding's got me feeling really overwhelmed and stressed. It's fine. But thank you for your concern, doctor. Mm -hmm. All part of the service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to come this way? Well, come on, Ephraim. We paid enough money for this place. Might as well make the most out of it. We better get going. Another wedding going on next door. Oh. It blows my mind. Don't these idiots do any research first? I mean, why in the hell would you want to get married here? Madness. Why? You're actually taking it all in, right? Everything out there. You're actually seeing things when you sit and look out that window. They get married here, Victor, because it's beautiful out there. Beautiful. And that's good enough reason to put your life at risk, is it, Devon? Vic, no one's life is at risk. You need to come now. And um, may I add something? If they are idiots for getting married here, if they are putting their lives at risk by spending one day or two in the beautiful English countryside, what about us? We fucking live here. If they are idiots, what does that make us? Whistleblowers. Whistleblowers? Mm. And what exactly are we blowing the whistle on? 
you know exactly what we're blowing the whistle on. With the UK's Bob Lazar. Um, Bob? Lazar. Bob Lazar. Area 51 went on record and then the government tried to make it look like, like he was some lunatic. Bob Lazar, come on. Well, I just hope the wedding makes it through unscathed. Uh huh. Unlike the other 200 weddings where fuck all have happened. Your dad made money. They're like kids. <laughs> The whole male species is. You know, the annoying thing is they're only like this when they're all together. Exactly. Thank you. You know how they say when women spend a lot of time together, their cycles sync up. I reckon when men spend so much time together, their dicks line up. <laughs> right? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, nothing. We're just talking about how men are idiots, really. Hello? Well, that's good for you, mate. I'm glad you've finished work. But tell me one thing, who the fuck are you and why are you ringing me? <laughs> Brendan. My wrong one for this weekend, his name is Brendan. <gasps> no, of course I knew it was you, sexy. I was just teasing you. So what time will you be here? <laughs> Danny, he still looks like his dad there. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll try not to be too late. All right, I'll see you soon. So not only do you not remember his name, you didn't even save his number. I didn't see the point. Probably won't be around after this weekend. What, are you burying him in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one way of getting rid of him. But no, you know me. Just get one use out of them and then drop them. Can't believe you didn't remember his name. <laughs> I remember his car. Well, that's because that's where we... Uh, 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 we don't need to hear all the details of your sex exploits again. Well, he's just finished work. He'll be packing up some bits and he'll be here soon. Mm, good. Then you won't have to go trawling through my wedding guest to find a sex doll for the night. Uh, it was a real possibility. <laughs> I tell you, he still looks like his dad, though. Don't <laughs> Poor James. Do you know more? Do you know more? Oh, Charlie Wire. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Oh, look at him go. If you'd like to go to your rooms, on the sideboard, there's a list of names with your room numbers on it. Miss Jones and Mr. Forkham have the honeymoon suite. Yeah, we do. Boom! <laughs> Your luggage has been placed in your rooms. Have a pleasant stay. And rest assured, everything is in order for tomorrow evening's service. All right then. Cheers, Jeeves. Good man. You're welcome, sir. Just as funny the second time. Shattered. I could be dead to the world before I can count to ten. I don't even want to take off my makeup tonight. <laughs> Not too tired, I hope. I still got lots of energy left. <laughs> we can save that for tomorrow, our wedding night. You do realize we have had sex before. This whole way until you marry thing's long out the window. <sighs> I know, but it just feels right to you know. Wait. Does it? One night won't kill you. Yeah, it hasn't been one night. It's been about four. Yeah, are you keeping count? Of course not. I'm just, I'm just teasing. You know, maybe from tomorrow I could come off the pill. Let's, let's give it a while. 
discuss it a bit more. You know, it's a big decision. A decision we've had countless conversations about? Yeah, but they're all hypothetical, weren't they? Hypothetical? They've always been serious conversations to me. Okay, well, how about after the ceremony tomorrow? We can go off on our honeymoon. We can uh, have a real serious conversation. I just told you, Jack, it's always been serious to me. <sighs> I know. Me too. Clearly. Okay, baby, you know I want kids. And you know I want kids with you, but... Can we just get rid of one big milestone before we start discussing another one? Look, I'm not writing it off. I'm just saying it's our wedding. It's a big deal. Let's just save her. I'm sorry. You're right. It just excites me, you know? The idea of us starting our own little family. And it excites me too. It really does. Now you get your booty sleep. Not that you need it. Ugh, that's a cheesy line. Have as smooth as they come, you know? Ugh, come on, show me. <laughs> you don't look that smooth to me. I'm gonna call my mum, okay? This late? Yeah, I just need to talk to her. Are you excited for tomorrow? Marrying the love of my life? Of course I'm excited. I miss you.
didn't think you'd come. I wasn't going to. But then again, I never did have an issue making you come. What was that? It's nothing. Nothing. I love you. Becky. Becky, just wait a minute. God. Don't get married. Please. Becky, come on, you know this. You don't love her. I do love her. If you did, you wouldn't have been fucking me for three months. You knew it was a bit of fun, that's it. You knew full well as soon as I got married, this would have to stop. You're not married now. God, there's, there's still time, we can go right now. Oh, are you insane? I'm not running off with you. I love Maya. I'm getting married tomorrow because I want to, not because I have to. Look, I get that you're worried to call it off so close, but Jack, we deserve to be happy too. Are you high? I am happy. I want to get married. <sighs> Becky, we spoke about this. We both knew it was nothing but sex. What if I want more? You can't fucking have any more. I can't just wake up one day and decide shit like that. We, we had an understanding, remember? Things change. I love you. You need to calm yourself down. Don't turn into a fucking bunny boiler. What if I tell her then? Could I tell her everything? You won't be getting married then. Well, that'd be a very stupid fucking idea, wouldn't it? Would it? The wedding would be called off and you wouldn't have to worry about upsetting anyone. I'm also talking to this fucking tree at this point. I'm not worried about upsetting anyone, least of all you. Now listen carefully, I want to get married. But if I told her, you wouldn't have to marry someone you don't love. Could you could, you can finally be- I don't want to be with you. Can't you fucking understand that? I love Maya. You? You're just a bit of fun, nothing more. You wanna tell her, fucking tell her. She'll forgive me eventually. But the rest of her friends, they'll never forgive you. You'll be alone, all by yourself. Fuck you. Fuck you, Jack, you prick. Whatever. When you fuck off home, say you're sick or something, do us all a favor now and once you're here. Yeah, well. You've got a little dick.
Well, I think Jack's a scumbag. I'm sorry, but he is. Beth, come on. No, I've tried telling Maya, but she won't listen. Because she loves him? <laughs> it's gonna end badly for her. Beth, honestly, he's a good lad. He loves it the bits. Oh, is that right? I wonder why Becky isn't down here. Must still be sulking in her room. Now, what possibly could have happened this weekend to make her so upset? Oh, maybe because the guy that she's been fucking is marrying one of her friends. Would sure put me on a downer. You know. Doesn't take a genius, babe. Who am I? I think she knows. She must do. She's just choosing to ignore it. I feel like going upstairs and just having it out with her. Before it's too late. She deserves better than that turd with legs. No, don't. Like, Jack. He loves my heart. He really does. He made a mistake. We know that. Shit. Even he knows that. A big, big mistake, granted, but he ended it. He loves Maya. <sighs> Deep down, he's a lovely guy. Trust us, he would never, ever. And it's not just about Jack, is it? I mean, Becky, she's an adult too, and she chose to sleep with Jack, and she knew that he was engaged. I mean, come on, Maya, it's her best friend. Exactly. You can't put all the blame on Jack. Uh, can we help you, mate? I can help it over here. But you're here for the weekend, for the wedding, right? Yeah, that's right. This is going to sound a bit weird, but you will need to leave. You need to what? Leave. I know, I know. I'm just a random guy telling you to leave. A little bit odd. But trust me, I'm trying to help you. You all need to leave now. There's weird stuff going on here. What, weirder than you? This place, it, it, it's a beacon of sorts. It draws them in. There's been so many sightings. I have seen a few myself. And a decade ago, well, that one wasn't me. I, I only moved here recently. But, but, but a decade ago, a body was found out in the woodlands. Obliterated. Okay, mate. I think you need to lay off the sauce. Looks like you've had one too many two drinks ago. Sightings have been going through the roof. Message boards are going mad. Something extraterrestrial is definitely going down, and it's going down soon. You made a mistake coming here. Aliens, huh? Grays? Yes, exactly. There's this friend of mine. Well, I say friend, we haven't actually met. Well, we talk all the time online, but, but, but this guy, He's the chairman of the UK UFOSS. The UK UFOSS? Yes, the UK UFOSS. The United Kingdom Unidentified Flying Object Support System. Which means it's obviously legit. Obviously. Yes. This guy was driving round this area not too long ago and he swears he saw a bright light directly above. How do you know it wasn't Bigfoot? Sorry? The body. The viscerated one. How'd you know it wasn't Bigfoot? <laughs> impossible? Well, the word impossible literally means I'm possible. Bigfoot couldn't have been seen here. The woodlands are nowhere near dense enough. And besides, Bigfoot is from the northern US. Part of the US. Uh, Mothman? Again, again. No, a Mothman is found in Point Peninsula in West Virginia, and there's no evidence of Mothman ever eviscerating a single oh, No! Oh, man, we are dealing with something of alien origin. For fuck's sake, Victor, I popped to the toilet for two minutes and you're harassing people. Helping? I'm sure they don't say it that way. I apologize, he's a little bit highly strung. <laughs> See
Why didn't you come out and give me a proper hello? In the car the other day, now some alfresco action, is it?
hell, Jack? What the hell is wrong with you? Don't sneak up on people like that in the dark. I wasn't sneaking up on anyone. I just wanted well, to. Well, hum a tune or stamp your feet or something. You're like a creepy fucking Jesus out there. Right, so I said, calm down. Who do you think I was anyway? I'm nearly other person in the room. I don't know what crazy axe murderer could have broken in. Right. Out in the peaceful English countryside, crazy axe murderers are everywhere. Aw, you're the prime example of God not giving with both hands. Pretty, but pretty dumb. Quiet countryside, old manor house, next to the dense woodland. Prime location for a nutcase. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jeeves downstairs, he's a serial killer as well, is he? Mm, could be. Haven't you heard even one of the poo kills people now? <laughs> What's next, Humpty Dumpty? Come on, go to bed. I'll just be a minute, okay? I didn't hear you come back in last night. I was only five minutes, but you were asleep by the time I got back. I just didn't want to wake you. Go on, I'll just be a minute, okay? Should we head downstairs, Maya? Should we go downstairs to find the others? Maya? Hello, after Maya. What? Thought we actually had to be married first before you start ignoring me. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. My mind was elsewhere. Your mum and dad, we spoke about this. If we invite your mum and dad, then we'd have to invite mine too, God forbid. Next thing you know, it's uncles, aunties, cousins, and then my dad's gonna wanna bring his friends from work, and then it's the vet, and then the vet's friend, and then I it's- I know, I know. Small and intimate. We made the right choice, and my mum would have only complained the entire time. It just feels, you know, weird. I get it, for me too. But it's like you said, the cost would have got out of hand and too many chefs in one kitchen. But this semi-elopian thing has been by far the best idea we've had. A few mates, no one's sticking their oars in. Ugh, I imagine trying to tell my mom we were having a nighttime wedding. She would have had a fit. Exactly, not worth the hassle. But when we get back, we'll just hire a room at the social club. It'd be a nice surprise. Plus, everyone's gonna be way too drunk to remember that they weren't invited. Mm, and Beth likes it this way. It makes her feel special to be one of the select few invited. Hmm. Well, if Beth's happy. Speaking of Beth and the others, we should probably head down for breakfast. Hmm. And you wanted to see his face. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. 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 Oh, I didn't know you drank last night. I didn't. You know, those look like hangover sunglasses. Mm, Pure sunglasses mixed with I slept like shit glasses and feeling a bit pukey, but nerves, right? What about you, Beth? Hangover? Ignore her. She's sulking. I'm not sulking. I'm angry. There's a big difference. Her gentleman friend stood her up last night. Ah. Stood me up. Me. I've never been stood up in my life. I do the standing up. I'm never the stood. Stand me up, Elizabeth Rowan. Fucking nerve of it. I'm sure he had a good excuse. <laughs> excuse? There wasn't one. Called me to tell me he was leaving to come here. Called me again to say he was 20 minutes out. And then, oh, so I started getting ready. Sexy thong bit of makeup and all that, then fuck all. Nothing. Zip, zilch, zero. I'm sure he'll explain it next time you go out. Yeah, maybe he got lost. Well, he can get lost, and next time, there won't be a next time. He can fuck his great aunt Ethel if he thinks he's getting another chance with me. Now his loss is someone else's gain. What's your buddy Mike like? Like Mike? You've met Mike loads of times. You know what he's like. No, I mean, what's he like in bed? <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to know that? <laughs> what, don't you guys talk? Beth, 
he could have a two inch cock and last 30 seconds in bed. He'll still tell us he's an absolute machine and he can give women multiple orgasms a night. It's all right, I can steer him around the curves. <laughs> Beth, you're like a predator on a hunt, a lioness from a wildlife documentary. Well, tomorrow morning you'll find an extremely happy, if not worn out, carcass. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Becky? Oh yeah, so I was gonna say, I haven't seen her around. She went to bed last night, never came back. Tried knocking on the door, nothing. She seemed pretty pissed off about something, that's for sure. Maybe your mystery man let her down again. Mystery man? Yeah. She was seeing some guy that none of us had ever met. She was always getting annoyed with him, but she'd never tell us who he was. Not even his name. Um, maybe he was married. Maybe. Let's just give her some time. Check on her later. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine, honestly. But you've got enough in your mind to be worrying about that today. Babe, she's one of my best friends, and a bridesmaid. You okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm just feeling really sick this morning, but I, I don't, could, could be nervous, right? Oh, sick. In the morning? Also known as morning sickness? <laughs> Breakfast, maybe? Oh, God, no. The thought of that makes me want to throw up. Oh, it's just wedding jitters, babe. Completely natural. Where are you going? Nowhere. I, I need to just walk, I think. Do you want to go check on Bex? Yeah, sounds like no, a good No, 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 no. Last thing you need to be doing. You just need some fresh air, okay? So we'll go for a walk. Me and you? Yes, me and you. You can explore the grounds further. See you later. Feeling any better? Not really. Just anticipation, I suppose, but I should be feeling better by tonight, you know, when we're all dressed and the ceremony starts. Well, as long as you're feeling better after the reception, our actual wedding night. You know, back there when um, Beth joked about me being pregnant, you didn't seem overly happy. We have to have this chat now. Why not? We both want kids, right? Yeah, of course. And why do you get upset whenever the subject's brought up? I don't. It's just all you talk about, really. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted kids as soon as possible. Yeah, but you're talking about coming off the pill tomorrow. I mean, can we not enjoy being married for a while first? <laughs> you can't enjoy being married if you have a baby? I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? I'm saying I love you. I can't wait to have a baby with you. Can we just get married, enjoy our honeymoon, and then talk about this? I understand. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Mike, what's going on? Go away, get the fuck away Mike, from me! Mike, calm the fuck down, will you? What's happening? Jack. Mike, what's happening? Talk. I'm gonna be sick. She's asleep. What did they say? Well, there's nothing wrong with her. Nothing serious, at least. They reckon she's just stressed. Are you going to have to cancel the wedding? I don't know. I think we should reschedule it, but I know she won't hear it. I mean, there's still... I mean, there's still a bit of time before she needs to start getting ready. I suppose all we can do is just see how she is when she wakes. 
I just don't know what to do. Just let Maya decide. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let her rest for a bit and then when she's awake, I'll ask her what she wants. She was just... I don't know, it was weird. Anyway, weddings can be stressful, mate, all right? You can take the toll. Do be fine back, Mum. We'll just let her sleep it off. I fucking hope so. Anyway, I best get back in there. I'll keep you guys updated anyway. What are you gonna do in the meantime? I mean, we should check on Becky again, really. Still nothing? I've WhatsApped her twice. She hasn't read them. Do you need me to come with you and Craig, or are you gonna be good on your own? I mean, oh, right. Um, no, we're, we're good. We don't need an army. Why don't you and Mike get to know each other a little better, and we'll see you later. Mike? Hell yeah. Something is seriously wrong here. I need you to talk to me. Just snap out of it, Maya. Is it this? What's this? Is this making you sick? Maya. I need you to say something, okay? Just talk to me. Just say something, anything. Let me help, okay? Just talk to me and let me help. Let me help you, Maya, okay? We're gonna suppose find the wedding. I know you don't wanna hear it. No. But... No. No. We have to get married tonight. Becky, it's Rachel. Bex, open up. We just want to make sure you're okay. All right, last chance and I'm opening the door. All right, too late. Bex? Well, where is she then? I mean, clearly she's still here. What was the stuff still about? I mean, maybe she went for a walk. She didn't answer the phone. Look, I don't know, but I know we need to go look for her and make sure she's okay. I, I don't know if we've got time for that. I mean, the wedding, it, it starts shortly. <sighs> okay, um, we'll just go outside, have a look around to see if she maybe went for a walk, okay? 30 minutes tops.
I'm gonna get the light, babe. No, please, no, no, please don't. Babe, I'm scared. Me too. Okay, well, let me help you. Just talk to me, please. Something is happening to me. What's happening to you? I don't know. I feel different. postpone the wedding I, I know you don't want to hear it but no jack please we have to get married tonight <sighs> i really don't think postponing the wedding isn't going to change anything i want to be your wife jack You're sure? Yeah. We can deal with whatever's happening to me after the wedding. Please, Jack. If you're sure. If you're sure. Babe, come on, let's go back and get ready. I'm getting really worried now. What's that? It's Becky's. Well, that was nice. I mean, I know we've been out together before in a group, but just to get to know you, you know, it was, mm. it was nice. You too. You can thank Brendan for that. Brendan? Yeah, he was supposed to be my date for the wedding. Stood me up. Anyway, his loss, your gain. Yeah, it meant a lot. You OK? It's that car. How long has it been there? I have no idea. I've been this far away from the house. Why? That's his car. Flaky fucking Brendan. <sighs> oh, this fucking guy. Oh, I've not heard from him all day. Not seen hair nor tail from Bex. <laughs> if they've hooked up, I... Oh, I was gonna fuck you anyway, but now you're gonna get all my best moves. Oh, yeah. So what are you think then? Like Brendan and Becky's hooked up here. Why can't we? Well, it wouldn't make sense, right? They've both been MIA. I mean, if that's what's happened, I wouldn't shake Becky's hand any more than I would, but Brendan could go fuck himself. Is that Beckett's? It's, it's Becky's. Is this her blood? Look, it might not be her blood, but this could be getting serious now. Let's let's go back and tell people we found this stuff. Rachel, we've got to go. The wedding can wait. No, it's not about the wedding. This is about Becky. No one's seen her for 24 hours, have they? Let's let's go back and tell people we found this stuff. Yeah? Okay, okay. 
Take it the wedding's still going ahead then. How is she? I don't know. She's not good. Well, should I go? No, no. It's... She. It's all right. She's adamant that the ceremony goes ahead. I'm not surprised. All the planning, the money she spent. I'm sure it's just stress related. After tonight, she'll be back to her old self again. I hope so. Anyway. Brendan's? My Brendan? His car's here, and we found his phone. I reckon he's hooked up with Becky. We haven't seen either of them all day. Good. I hope they have, all right? I don't have the time or energy to be worried about either of them. Just get yourself ready and meet me downstairs, okay? Bex? <gasps> Calm down. Well, where the fuck's Craig? And Rachel for that matter, huh? Where the fuck's Becky? They best hurry the fuck up. It's meant to be an intimate wedding, but she's taking the piss. Ned, Ned, just calm down. It'll come. I mean, should we wait or what? I've already knocked on Rachel's door and got fuck all. I expect this from Becky, but not Rachel. I reckon we give it another minute. I guess we're not waiting then.
Maya? They're coming. On. I told you that no one listened. Crazy old Victor. But here we are, aliens massacring people. Just fine, you're a fucking genius. If we're still alive after, you can blow them. How about we try to find a way to get out of here before we enjoy the massacre? <laughs> this can't be happening. My friends, they... They're gone. They've been taken. <sighs> this can't be happening. This, this can't be real. I can assure you, it is real, and this is most definitely happening. They've been planning this for decades. The abductions, the sightings, it's all part of their plan. <coughs> definitely locked the back door, right? I thought you see it. I specifically told you to lock the fucking door. How do you know? I can hear them. I... I can understand them. What are they saying? What do they want? Tell me, what do they want? Maya, if... Whatever's out there. 
forgets us. I want you to know that I love you. I always have. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for not being able to protect you now. I'm sorry for anything that I've done that's upset you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You knew? More of a thought. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. We should have never have come here. Or we should have gone home a lot sooner. Although, I'm not sure what difference it would have made now.
Do whatever you're gonna fucking do. I have nothing left anyway.